Watching this video, you will learn the workflow for an implant bridge in the TRIOS application. Starting on the Patients page, click New Session and select the lab. If you have only one lab, this lab is automatically pre-selected. The order form will appear. First, mark the tooth with implants. These teeth will now have a green outline and the tabs with indications will appear on the bottom of the window. Click on the Implant tab and then in the Abutment drop-down list, select Abutment or Screw Retained Crown. Then use the other drop-down lists to select Manufacturer, Implant System, Connection Type, and Restoration Material. You can do this for both implants at the same time or separately if you use two different implant systems. Now select the tooth for the pontic and deselect the abutments. In the type drop down list, select pontic, then pontic material, and in the pontic design drop down list, select the type of pontic. When ready, deselect Pontic and choose the teeth with implants again. Add a crown on top of the implant by selecting Indications. And then Type of Crown Material. Finally, make sure that you marked all the teeth comprising the bridge. All the teeth in the bridge will now have a green outline. Select the bridge type on the Bridge Type drop-down list. When you scan implants, the Emergence Profile Scan is selected by default. A pre-preparation scan may be added too. Finally, set the delivery date by clicking the Delivery Date button. Now proceed to the scan page. You will have four scans to do. Lower arch, upper arch with Emergence Profile, upper arch with scan bodies and occlusion. Scan the opposing arch first. Follow the official scan strategy, which is start by scanning the occlusal surface from the molar to the canine. Then, as it is the lower arch, slowly roll to the lingual side and move the scanner in the distal direction. Finally, slowly roll over the last molar and scan the buccal side. Now proceed to the upper arch. Firstly, scan the same area as in the lower arch with the healing caps in place. Then trim away the first healing cap in the scan. Remove the first healing cap, dry the area and scan the emergence profile immediately before the gingiva collapses. Start scanning on the neighbouring tooth before moving on to scan the emergence profile. Then paint the area of the emergence profile using the lock tool found under the tools button. This will freeze the emergence profile in its current retracted state, thus preventing it from being updated with later data when gingiva might be collapsed. Repeat this procedure for all implants. Make sure also to cover the contact points in this scan.
Finally, mark the preparations. You will see a blue overlay around the preparation mark indicating the area that will be automatically cut out when going to the scan body page. If necessary, you may reposition the prep mark to obtain your desired cutout. You may adjust the automatic cutout radius under Settings, Scan, or you may turn it off completely if you prefer to trim manually. Now proceed to the Scan Body page in the top workflow bar. First, make sure that all of the healing caps have been trimmed away, as well as the nearby surrounding area. Insert the scan bodies and start the scanner, pointing at a neighbouring tooth. Once the scanner has picked up the position, slowly move to the scan body and circle around it to scan from all angles. It is especially important to cover the upper third of the scan body to make sure it's possible for the laboratory to recognise the correct position. If you have only one scan body, you may move it between the implants to scan them one by one. When the scan has been added, remove the scan bodies and scan the bite. Ask the patient to bite firmly and scan until both scans snap into position and the jaws are aligned. The scan should cover at least three to four teeth for a perfect alignment, even if scans snap together earlier. Switch to the Analyze page to confirm that there is enough space for the reconstruction between the upper and lower jaw. Add some comments or take a shade measurement. Finally, switch to the Send page. After verifying the order, press Send Order. When the order has been sent, 3Shape Communicate window will become active. You can use it for communicating with the lab, writing comments and sending snapshots. Now you know the workflow for an implant restoration. Thank you for watching.